Ted Cruz responds when you hit him in an honest and fair way like that, like I'm sure he did like when he was being bullied in sixth grade or something, like unfairly by a mean bully. And he's, <laughs> it has that energy. Ted Cruz just reeks of weakness. He just does, even more so in some ways than Trump. Trump is super weak and he responds in an emotional, sort of like weak way. But Ted Cruz, it's visible on him the way he responds. And I don't understand, Sharon, how the Republican Party, let alone Texas Republicans, who are supposed to be the most like old school alpha men in America, can see Ted Cruz and think of him as anything other than the sort of guy they used to bully themselves. What do you think? Well, part of it might be that he's rarely there. He doesn't yeah. care about Texas and he's rarely there. So they don't have much interaction with him. He barely wants to debate anyway, but he's um, got this thing. And I think it's the universe's great balancing act. He cannot be authentic. He can't even fake it. He actually cannot even fake it. Remember when he seemed to be outraged because Donald Trump said his father killed JFK? Yeah. Or when Donald Trump basically called his wife ugly. And he, he was, you leave my wife, Heidi. It, it just, it came off like you sniveling coward. Right. Like I probably you're sleeping on the couch because you don't it, stop. You didn't really defend me. You didn't mean it. It was just kind of this he tried, but it just didn't land. So that no. could be why. Just you sniveling. <laughs> oh my god, Ted Cruz trying to be tough is funny thing. Um, I'm gonna ask the audience, can we crowdsource? What's the best word I can use for that that's acceptable socially? Because I, I need something good and my vocabulary is running up against dad brain. I just, mm. I, there's got to be a perfect, maybe it's in German or something. You know how they have like hyper specific words to describe things? I don't know, but it's that particular sort of like, no, dude, don't even try. Stop it. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. And the issue, fun, we'll, we'll end with this. As of right now, Ted Cruz is still up. Not by a lot, 2.8% based on a bunch of polls. And Colin Allred has really narrowed things, okay? The, the gap had been much bigger. It is still 2.8. I still think, look, it's it's a tough road to hoe. Cruz has, has managed to squeak out like two point wins before. It's entirely possible this thing will be like a one point race. I still think he's more likely to win. Oh my God, if Colin Allred beat him, that'd be like the most amazing in the world. I love the hits on him. And by the way, go watch the clips. He hit him on his podcast, which is great. He brought up Cancun, I think a thousand times. And he also, he hit him on not being chosen for school sports in a very, it was, it was, it was honestly an attack on a debate stage that made me feel a little bit bad for Ted Cruz. So go find those, they're great. We'd play them for you, but uh, unfortunately that's not, I guess, how the law works. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?